Just wanted to look at a real quick overview of farm economics and some of the things you can do with NDS to make sure you're tracking all the economics as far as cost and return for dairymen. So the first thing you'd probably want to do is go into farm structure of your working group and we will go to the farm for, we'll use this farm for an example. You can see we're doing multi-component milk pricing. So I can go to the multi-component milk prices and I can see I have downloaded pretty much the monthly input cost, input price for milk coming out of the federal milk marketing order done by clicking this automatic download and downloading and then what it does is it goes out and checks to see if the if there's any updates to the pricing here. So the last one was released on the 11th of December 2018. You can see the butterfat price, protein, solids. <clears throat> if I wanted to, I could work with the dairyman, get the PPD quality, and put all his other deducts in. And I do that for a few producers, um, just not this one right here. So. Anyway, you can see that I am using the multi-component milk pricing system. Go and confirm that. And we will go to that farm and a recipe on that farm and look at some of the economics. So I can go to, I had that open earlier. I can go here. Here is that farm. And then if I am putting in the input cost for all the prices per ton here, as it's loading, I can see there's my corn silage, haylage, alfalfa hay brew, and the farm mix that is mixed up by the feed mill. There's a feed mill product in there, which is inside the farm, which gives me this price here. And again, um, we can discuss how some of that pricing can be inputted on another video. But if I go down here to the milk price, you can see that the price for the dairy, if I use the pop-up function, here we go, $16.33 for the 37315. There's the fat price, protein price, others. And so looking at that, you can see that um, what, the, what the milk is and what he's getting for milk with the protein and the fat put into the 92 pounds. I think last time I looked, this guy was at 89.8. So I'm going to go ahead and put the input cost at the actual, pro at the actual production of where the dairy is. Uh, prediction is at 89 um 89.8 so wow right on so again if we look down through here then what i can do is i can go to the production efficiency here and i can see here's my gross income per day here's my income over feed cost and in this scenario it's going to be pretty much the same because it's predicting 89 pounds of milk and i'm at 89.8 let's let's assume that this was the herd was actually making 92 or 88 let's say it's making 88 pounds so the economics would be here and what we like to do is we like to put what the herd's actually doing here the model may be predicting 91 and 89 which would be a pound or two over the 88 and so what you really see is the model's prediction is right here if that animal for eating that amount of intake at those prices the income over feed cost would be $8.44. But since we loaded what the herd is actually doing here in the target area, we know that that income over feed cost is $8.14. I'm not sure if I do have this farm accurately described with the income over purchase feed cost, but you can also generate that information here. The other thing of note was that we can see that 
there is the production economic efficiency here, which is a small icon, pops this screen up. So what we see is that this herd, again, at the 88 pounds of milk, the income per cow would be $14.37. Total cost of the ration, $6.22. So here is the current income over feed cost. And the dial shows up here. Here, the idea is if you spend 60% of your cow's income on your feed, you're in the red. And if your cows are milking well, and 40% of the total income of the cow is, or 60% return, then you're over here in the green. And right now with milk protein and a little bit of suppression in our milk price here in December 2018, you can see, although the herd is really doing well, we're, we're not um, where we were in, you know, a year ago in 2017 and the middle of 2017, we were way over here in these green areas because of the price of the milk. So this needle basically is telling us how are we doing economically the total cost of the diet in relation to the gross income of the milk. Again, feed price makes this go south. Milk price makes this go south. Too much intake, not enough milk makes this go south. So it's not a <clears throat> one-time barometer check. It's more like a ongoing look at what, what we're working with. So here's what we're seeing on this farm. And the interesting thing is, is that if you've done this over a long period of time on a dairy, that you can actually go to the animal input section, and we've looked at all of these, but there's something that that the programmers and, and the Ruman group have put in is called trend analysis. And you can actually define some of these things in the recipe as far as the, uh, you know, the, the, ME and MP supplied, allowable milk or something. What I'm really concerned with today is looking at the cost. And what I may look at is the income over feed cost and the milk income for this period for the rations that I have saved and put into the program. So now what I can do is I can do this. And again, you have to have a history and some data along here. Um, been working with this farm for five or six years probably. So now if I go to show graft analysis, then what it's telling me is that here is my income per cow for each ration that I've done. And you can see it stays pretty consistent. And um, here is the, the um, trend analysis right here. And then the same thing we saw on the speed dial for the individual ration. This is this ration over a period of time. So you can see, again, in the beginning of 18, we may have been feeding a little heavier, maybe some additives that were giving us uh, milk protein that we're not paying. And I do think in this herd, we had some period where we couldn't get a lot of butter fat out of the dairy. We went ahead and we're using some products now to increase fat test. Um, I think for a period of time, we were running three threes here during the spring and we couldn't figure out why. We came into this area, we started getting some three sixes, three sevens, three fives even in here. So that probably had more to boost this income. But you can see we're really close to that upper um, efficiency economic efficiency number here. So that's what we can see through this trend analysis. But again, you have to have some history um, looking at um, quite a bit of history with this farm. And uh, if we actually backed up and looked at, at a larger period, you would have seen back in 2017 how we were a lot of times above this 
uh, sweet economic return number. Milk prices were up. Um, and so this is just showing you a graphic trend. One last thing we'd like to look at, we might just use this farm as an example, is we'll go to the main menu, recipe, and we'll go to that farm and look at the whole herd economic. So if I go to the farm and I right mouse click on the farm name and go to the summary of the herd economics, so what it'll do is it'll go through and read each ration and then as I have that production level set, that is actually the farm is, a, is producing in the input area, it generates the economics from there. And as I look there, then I will get this graph. And so basically it's a summary of all the recipes and again the income over feed cost is being generated by the milk produced here so have 950 hit on this ration 125 here 150 here here are the intakes the milk is set out there so the income over feed cost set here and then you can see the total cost to feed the whole herd. You can see the cost it takes to feed the lactating cows, dry cows, all the heifers, and all the cows. So this is a whole herd report. Again, if these cows are eating 58, I can change the intake here. Uh, doing some quick calculations. That's 275, 950. These are probably closer. I think he's milking 1300. And so I got to go down and recalculate that. And I probably overshot that. But um, I could go to his weekly sheets that he sends me to, to find a little better data. But you have the auto calc and then a recalc value here. So I've got it off 13.25. I think he's 13.05 or something. So I could correct that. But these numbers will change as you change this. The high cows there, I think we're eating more like 65 pounds. And I should go back and make sure. I think that 65 pounds was giving us 130 pounds of milk. So I need to go make sure that that is reflective in there, which I think it is. But um you know, even at 130 pounds, they're not as efficient as these girls are. The butter fat here in this group is not near, um, I don't have it near described as, as the three seven I do at this, this set of cows. So anyway, that's a quick demonstration of some of the financials. Um, I probably left something out, but, uh, I just wanted to put that all together and share that with you guys. So. I think that's a wrap.